Alright, boys and girls, today Gavin will be playing some Warzone as I'm talking. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so, we're going to be talking about Gavin's past. And, um, I don't know if it's rough or not. So, what was it like for you as a kid? So, when I was like, say like, like, I didn't have my dad in my life for six years, but like, like, there's some stuff I want to keep out, so like, I'm gonna just make it quick, like, you know, some drugs, you know, and, you know, it's like, say like, nine or ten, you keep like, I'm alive, I'm 13 now, and like, I'm happy, I'm happy now, like, I, I don't want to go into detail, because like, it's like, I don't feel comfortable sharing it, you know? Yeah, I understand. So, I, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Um, so, you grew up with uh, two other brothers, right? Um, oh, whoa. No, see, like, when I was like three, 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 he had my two little brothers, no, my three little brothers out right the next area. I have like two step brothers and one step sister. At that, right talking. now, I have like, like I said, three, three step done. siblings. Switch your like, rifle. I, I'm liking it so far. Like now, like I have two brothers, but it's like really, ha really hard to let go of my my older brother that died. Drop a job. Well done. So, uh, I have a question. Were you close with your other brother? Like, how close were you? Like, to the point like, like, I'm not quite close to my family. They don't, you know. I don't know, I just feel like I can't open up half the time. Optional missions um, known as but, yeah, that's, um, I guess, how does it, like, see, I don't really have, uh, I only have, like, two people I'm really close with, and I'll open up to you. I'll open up to them. Obviously, you're one, and the other person is no longer in your life because of recent, um, things that happened between us. But, yeah. Proceed to the next area. Alright, we're gonna turn down the uh, noise a little so you guys can hear us. Um, but it's, it's not the best. Um, shoot. Alright, that's a lot better. Alright. So, um, let's get into, uh, should we get into anime? Anime, yeah. Alright, so, when did you start watching anime? So, like, I started, I think, like, in 6th grade, at towards the end of the, um, year when Koji started. Like, I don't know, my, my friend, you, you remember the, um, the, the kid named Samurai, right? Yeah, yeah. So like him, like, so most people thought he was annoying, but I personally, I decided like, oh, I was gonna be friends with him. And ever since like, throughout fifth grade and sixth grade, we've been friends. Now, now he's not here anymore, because before he was in foster care, now he's back, I think at India. I think, I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, he said, I mean, I'm still in contact with them, and, um, we're, we're still really good friends, you know, he, he's the one who got me to an anime, props to him, um, without him, I probably won't be, won't be, uh, be watching anime, cause, like, I, I, I love anime now, so, yeah. I you wanna ask me a question? Uh, yeah, what, 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 when did you start watching anime? So, I started watching anime around 4th grade. Um, the main reason why I started watching anime is because I didn't have anyone to talk to. I literally had no friends. Do you remember Sean and Dean? No, I don't. Well, Sean and Dean were my best friends. And Dean moved, and it was me and Sean. Sean was there for a total of one month after Sheen, uh, Dean. And then once uh, Sean left, I had literally no one. I was by myself, I would go to school every day, sit in the lunchroom alone, and just think, right? And 
it was literally two years, like, it was like not even a, it was a year, exactly a year after I moved, like when I moved to, um, you know, when I moved from, like I used to live in Georgia and I moved to Cali, right, and it was a year, so I was alone, and my, you know, my way of getting through the day was watching anime. I remember my first anime I watched was a animal anime called Future Diary, and this anime is about a, um, so this person, right, he has a, so he writes in his phone about, like, everything around him, but never about himself, and eventually this deus ex machina, you know, give, give, gives his phone the power to see in the future, but if his phone breaks, he dies, and it's a battle to the death between 11 people and it's and he has this girl assessing over her and the girl tries to you know save him and it's a really good watch um i think you guys should watch it it's quite nice what was the first anime you watched okay it might be like like most people start an anime i watch naruto yeah. that's what you watch yeah right now how fast did you like how fast did you finish it See, like, like in a month. Yeah. See, uh, Future Diary only has like 23 episodes, so I finished it in a day. I benched like the whole thing, <laughs> like a day and a half, I think, a day or a day and a half. I don't know exactly, but yeah. And um, right now, in your opinion, what is your, f- what is the best anime, like, or your favorite? Like, like any ones? Yeah, or just any- one. Just one. Tower Dora. Tower Dora? Yeah. See, I would go Darling in the Franks, but personally, the ending could not hold up to most other animes that I like. Um, I'm thinking about, like, ReZero right now. It's part two will be coming out next year during, like, I don't know if it's, I don't know when, but it's coming out. Uh, the trailer dropped, like, seven, like, a week ago. Uh, I'm thinking of, uh, it's rather... Zero two, I mean not zero two, <laughs> re zero. Um, my hero. That's, a, that's right now blazing. It's super good. Uzaki Chan wants to hang out, or, or yeah. this might be controversial. Um, uh, love Chibio and other delusions. Okay, that's one of my other personal favorites. Uh, yeah, Chinubio and love and other delusions. That's one of my also favorites. But with Tower Door, the thing I don't like it, it was kind of a cliffhanger at the end, because they didn't show more, there should have been more episodes, I wish they'd make more, another, like, say, like, another two seasons, but then I realized what was made, like, I think, like, around 2007 or 2008. Yeah, it was, um, see, let's talk about the Tower Door ending, actually. So, it leaves off with Taiga in this new uniform that's all black, and- Wait, 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 before, 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 disclaimer- this is all spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Um, so it leaves off with uh, Taiga. You know, she trains. You know, she trains schools, and she wanted to surprise. <laughs> I forgot where game chat. Uh, so it leaves off with uh, Taiga in this black uniform, surprising. What's his face? I forgot his name. Let's say Jake. I forgot his name. Um, let's find out his name. Characters. Ryuji. Ryuji. Right. Okay, Ryuji. So he wanted. She wanted to surprise Ryuji, right? And. It leaves off with Ryuji saying, I love you. In my opinion, that's a great way to end it. You know? See, on, um, so, the Christmas episode is when, um, uh, Taigo finally realized that she loved Ryuji on when Ryuji went to go find Minori. See, in my opinion, that is a beautiful episode. I love that episode. The uh, Christmas episode. Oh yeah, I love that. 
It is, m my opinion, it is the best episode of that whole anime. Besides the last episode. Last episode, I hated it. Last episode, I cried. I could get my mom in here and, and I, I, could, I could ask her at the end of Tower Dora, did I cry? Yeah. I cried like a baby. I, w I legit went to my mom and hugged her, crying my balls off. Like I bet half of my pubes fell off on the right side of my 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 sack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Right. Um, let's talk about. Hold on. Have you ever watched Seven Deadly Sins? No, I don't really like the type of genre of anime. Mm. I'm more of into romance. Let's talk about a Silent Voice. Silent Voice is quite good. It, 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 like, like, it doesn't seem sad, but like, without the music and stuff, it's like off white, it's what makes it sad. Yeah, it's, the music, the soundtrack in Silent Voice is such a great soundtrack, too. Yeah. The, the intro, though, the intro, you gotta be honest, dude, the song's freaking... Fire. Fire, yeah. It's fire. Um. Oh, I just got killed. So, um. Um, yes, <laughs> um, so what do you watch our anime on? Uh, Netflix. Netflix. Netflix says I don't want, cause I don't feel like buying like any other stuff. So. Uh, I use Funimation. Um, so, um, so, Rezero, I feel like you should watch it. It's a romance anime into a anime about it's not really action. Okay, hold on. I it's hard to des describe. Rezo is a great anime though. So basically, it's about this guy, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is a lot of. It's kind of dark, a little. It's a little dark, but it's kind of. It's it's nice. You're talking about Silent Voice, right? Huh? You're talking about Silent Voice? No, I was talking about Rezero. Oh. Rezero is a good anime. You need to watch it. It's. Okay, you can. You can watch it on your phone. I can send you a website, uh, a legal website that you can watch it on. Um, anyway, that's what I'm <laughs> I watch a legal anime. Anyway, um, so basically what it is, is it's about this guy, right? And so basically, um, it's, uh, it's about this guy, right? And basically he is, uh, you know what an isekai is? An isekai is where you're told to put it to another world. He's teleported to another world, right? And, um, basically, his whole, like, he, you know, he finds this girl, and the girl helps her. Helps him, right? And then this guy gets a massive, huge boner. <laughs> and, you know, he tries to live out with Amelia, which is the girl's name. But she is known as the half-elf, and the half-elf race, it, she looks exactly like the witch of... Bad witch, I forgot her, which witch. I think it's Envy? No, wait, no, that's fucking, uh, Satella. I love Satella. Anyway, so, he has to live out through this world, but he dies a lot. I mean, dies a lot. Uh, uh, tons. A oh, fuck ton. Anyway, this is like an online game or something. What? Yeah, his power is called Return by Death. So, he, like, it's like a save point, you know? Like, he saved, like, he can't save. But it automatically saves him at a certain time or place, and once he dies, he tell he like respawns back there. But like everything's restarted, you know. Yeah. So yeah. And um. It's, the music, I can hear the music. It's like making him sad. It kind of is. <laughs> I just watched an ad come up. Want a break from the ads? <laughs> <laughs> Want a break from the ads? Watch this thirty. Watch this for thirty free seconds. Like, for thirty minutes of free music listening. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's move on to an anime we both know. Um. What's the worst anime you've ever watched? Just disrespected me hella hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's my opinion, bro. Again, he's into those romance animes. He don't. He gets. He likes feeling depressed. Ah, 
after watching an anime. That's how he likes it. My favorite anime. You're, you're pulling me out too. You're like exposing me. <laughs> uh, oh, I swear, I swear. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna post it on my Discord if people see it and they start questioning me. I'm gonna be mad at you. No, it's all good. If they question you, tell them I said a personal I'll fuck put, you. Um, wait, what? If they say anything, tell them I said fuck them, right? My favorite anime is Sam and Cat. <laughs> it's Sam and Cat. That's my favorite anime. Anyway, but my uh, least favorite anime probably. It's um, it's a part of an anime. Um, it's like. <sighs> Okay, it's a part of an anime. Well, oh, you know, if I had to pick one anime, like, overall, to be my least favorite, I think I would have to go with... Let me look. Let me look through my watch list. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, I know. Orin, uh, Orin High School Host Club. It's ass. So, Gavin. Yeah. The question is... The question on everybody's mind. What was your first opinion when you met me? I was jealous of you. <laughs> Why were you jealous? <laughs> <laughs> the mic fell. Uh, Sorry about that, guys. Why, why, why are you jealous? Because, like... Before you came, I, I like had good types of friends, you know, but then ever since you came, I got jealous and I came out annoying to everyone all of a sudden. So that's what made me jealous and I started hating you. So basically you're saying when I came into school, they they just thought, like they thought you were funny, right? Yeah, they thought it was funny. And then I came in, they found you annoying. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I know for real. Um, if you are being a friend with someone and someone joins and they're funny, and you don't find the other person funny anymore, that's. I mean, sure you're probably like sure. I guess it's okay, but you don't find them annoying. Like that's just fucked up, man. So your only options were one, just to be annoyed, like to stay that, or <laughs> one, become my friend. And which one did you choose? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> He is like, boom, I'm annoying in your friend. No, I don't find you annoying personally. Personally, I find Gavin as a great friend. I could be a pain. He can. Sometimes he is annoying, but it's all good. It's all fun games. He doesn't mean, like, any harm, you know. It's not like he's gonna fucking nuke my house or some shit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you want to bow your house right now? I don't know. Hold up, I got you. Hold up. Ready? Hold up. Taking a break from my game really quick. <laughs> He's gonna become one of those hackers. I'm in. What's this phone number? I'm gonna nick your house. <laughs> Don't type in my address, please. Yo, how is he still alive? Oh. <laughs> He's dead as hell. I lost 20k. That's depressing. Oh, let me mic. Oh, never mind, you can't mute. You can't mute. Hold on, I know a way to mute. Did I mute? Yeah. No! <laughs> the no. mic died! Alright, <laughs> okay, what did you want to say? I need to scratch him. <laughs> and um. the mic's really sensitive so you can hear me scratch him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not that loud. My balls aren't that big. <laughs> I'm <j> oh! <laughs> Ow! I hurt my tooth. <laughs> I just hit my tooth with the mic. Alright, so, Gavin. When did you get into gaming? When I was one. <laughs> Same! My first game I ever played was Duck Life. <laughs> my first ever game I played was Black Ops 1, bro. Duck Life for Life. Um, so, uh, you play Black Ops, were you any good at it, or were you complete ass geeks? I'm gonna be full on honest with you, I was trash, but at the time I was trying to learn how to quick scope. So, um, there's- so, so like, say like when I was like around 6, 6 around that time, uh, that's 
when I started becoming a god at Call of Duty. Oh. So, um, let's talk about a game we both spent tons of money on, but we regret. Fortnite. What the hell? He spent money on it again. I spent like eight dollars. So I'm gonna be honest. Um, Fortnite was the only game I was good at sniping. And when it came to sniping, I was fucking Jesus himself, bro. I could fucking snipe you from fucking Dusty Depot. I could snipe you from Dusty Depot when I was at Tilted Towers. And that's like actually something. I have video proof, hold on. It's not video proof, I have like evidence. Let me see what, let me see if I still have it. Oh, that's where you are. I think I still have it. Hold on, give me a minute. Um, do, 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 do. I do, I do, I do. There, uh, I'm gonna put it, um, it should show up on screen. It was a 445 meter snipe. See? Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, here, send it to me so I could, uh, yeah. upload it. To, and I could edit it. I was a fucking god. To be honest, when it came I'm down, 66 frames. when it came down and when it came down to it, I was just. Back boy, I'm back, bitch. All right. Back in 2017, what was the best rapper, in your opinion? Juice World. Juice One? I thought you don't like Juice. You remember I used to like him? Yeah, you used to like him. But that's also when X died that year, I'm pretty sure. No, he died like in 2017. Oh yeah, he died- no, fucking 2016- I mean 2017 was Peep. In my opinion, um, 2017 and 2018 go to X. See, personally, um, I love X. <laughs> I still do, to this day. Even though what they've been doing with his name is pretty fucked up. Have you heard? No. The, so his whole album of Bad Vibes Forever was ass. It was not, there was like three good songs. And it just didn't feel like X. There are so many, like, you know, features, all of that, you know? And, like, some songs, I'm gonna name. He would have never posted. He would have never made. School Shooter. Um. Hold on, let me, let me bring it up. song that was it was the main so um yeah so basically the um the best song on this we've been we've been a million a long time ago bro um bad vibes at some point i had like eight hundred thousand dollars for me wrong song you see one million it was helped by tricky red Rock, which are two good rappers. Hell yeah. I'm glad they helped out with this song. It was so it, it felt like a song and it felt like two friends trying to pay their respect. Which was you know, you know this is something I'm gonna play a song that you would have never posted if he was still alive to this day. Where is it?
ever in my life I thought that would be like Alright, this is X, right? This is him actually saying Maybe he would have used the same title, but his lines he wouldn't